Hi there, Patrick Lynch from the Free Truth Show. I've got some meal going on here. We've got a meal going on. Uh, the beauty of organic gardening. Fantastic. Look at this. This is the first meal that's absolutely organic from my garden. Very excited. Right, look at this. Here we have some Welsh onion and some spring onion. Some spinach, the last of the spinach. And look at these onions. They're a bit small, but they work. They're real onions from the garden. Fantastic. Got some mint. I'm going to make up a herb mix, like you get in a little herb mixes in the shop. Bit of onion there. So we've got some mint going on. Lovely smell. Fantastic. I've been chopping the wood today, so my fingers are a bit dirty. They're all washed and ready to go. That's the parsley. Fresh parsley. I mean, I'm sorry I haven't got smelly cam. But um, valerian as well. Not valerian. Um, I forget now. It's nice. Bit of lavender, just a little bit, it's a bit strong. Some dandelion leaf and uh, some oregano flowers. That's interesting. Oregano flowers, and here we have some chamomile. So, a bit of spinach there as well. The only thing that's not organic is the garlic, and I usually buy organic garlic. Some little, some organic red onion left there. But that's. Um, but the best thing about it is, look at these spuds. These spuds are from the garden. Look at an Irishman eating his spuds. Look at that. No famine here. And by the way, the famine was a hoax, really. There was a bit of potato blight, but mainly it was because the English uh, nicked all the food and the cattle and shot anyone who tried to eat it and get it back from the boat and shipped it back over to England or wherever the troops needed it for the empire. That's the reality of it. So, um, the spuds are in. And uh, there we go. The spuds are in, and it's going to be a nice little meal. Let's see how that turns out. Eh? And look at the, look at these. Look at these. You see, some more spuds in there. Now these are organic spuds from the garden. The last year's uh, seed potatoes that were grown in the garden. So they may be genetically altered. They may be um, genetically altered. Um, herbs and everything really but they've grown in the garden and the potatoes are sort of second generation or maybe some of them third generation in they, in they pop and you know so yeah, I'm gradually breeding out the, the GMO if indeed they are GMO but it's going to be great I'm going to get chopping and uh See you soon. Fantastic. Excited.